Hey Texans fans, Texans girl here along with William Harvey and we are here to talk about the Houston Texans game today against the Baltimore Ravens. Um, all I can say is wow. Um, I know we're all disappointed about that loss. That was really tough. It was ugly. First half, not so bad. Um, we went into halftime 10 to 10. I really thought it was anybody's game. I thought we uh, figured out a way to detain Lamar Jackson because you all know the way to beat Baltimore is to frickin' figure out a way to stop this dude. And um, we were okay in the first half. Um, we got that return from Sims for the touchdown and that really sparked something in us and all of those sacks that we had against Lamar. And we went into the halftime and I felt pretty darn good. Um, coming out in the third quarter, very tough. We just, it, 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 I don't know what happened in the locker room with the Ravens, but um, they had something to prove obviously. And Lamar came out and kicked our ass. And that's why he will be the MVP of the league, no doubt in my mind. Um, we just didn't have an answer for him. And we could not get it going offensively. Could not do anything offensively. It was a very tough game for C.J. Stroud. Very tough run game. We had no run game. Zero. Um, it, it just was tough to watch. Um, but guys, as a Texans fan, I'm so proud of this team. I'm so proud of D'Amico Ryans and C.J. Stroud and every player on the Houston Texans game. Team, holy shit, man. We weren't expected to be here. They, they, what did they expect us? They didn't even expect us to win five games this season. We ended up winning the AFC South. We went, we ended up winning the freaking playoff game last season, last week. I, I'd say that's a win. I, I would say we have had a very awesome season. Um, I'm looking at a lot of the. The thing that pisses me off, guys, and I'm sure it pisses you off, is the Houston Texans get zero respect, zero respect in the media. I was watching Good Morning Football on Tuesday, and they didn't even mention, they recapped every single game, except for the Houston Texans game against the Cleveland Browns. They had a few highlights, but they failed to recap it. I mean, it really pissed me off. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? What does it take for the Houston Texans to be relevant? And it really, it just bothered me. Um, as great as we're playing, and the reason why I'm saying, and I'm going on about as great as we're playing, because a year ago, Texans fans, how did you feel? How did you feel a year ago from today? We sucked. I mean, we were a joke. We were the laughing stock of the NFL. And thank God that we hired D'Amico Ryans because that was the start of something great. That was the start of something positive. We came out, we had a great draft. We did a lot of great things and he turned the culture quick. I expected good things about D'Amico Ryans because I've always loved him. I liked him as a player and I felt the difference when we went to training camp. I took my kids to training camp in June and man, you could really tell. You could really tell the difference in the feeling and the atmosphere that you had um, at NRG. And I was excited about the season. But um, everybody just didn't have faith in us. And I'm and when I say everybody, I'm not talking about Texans fans. I'm talking about all the idiots that are commenting on these pages, these fake Facebook pages and Instagram pages. There was a boob on a page, and I can't remember which one it was, and I, in fact, I stopped following it. He commented about C.J. Stroud, and he ranked the um, quarterbacks in the playoffs, and he ranked Stroud as last, and he said that C.J. Stroud had came into a team that, he inherited a team that was ready for the playoffs. They were playoff ready. <laughs> I was like, hello, who, hello, who are you watching? Are you even watching the Houston Texans? Do you even know anything about the Houston Texans? There was no playoff team. CJ Stroud didn't walk into a playoff ready team. 
D'Amico Ryans created that playoff ready team. And CJ Stroud did nothing but overcome adversity, all the naysayers, calling Cowherd, what'd he say? He would amount to nothing, he would be no good, he would not, that whole stupid test that CJ did not score well on, who gives a damn about that cognitive test? CJ said he was not a test taker, he was a football player. Well, that was the best freaking comeback because I don't care about his test. I care about his performance, and all I can say is he was a freaking wow. He's the rookie of the year. D'Amico Ryans is the coach of the year. D'Amico, how can you not say enough good things about him? Look at what he's done. Look at the culture change. Look at what he, he's changed a disaster and given us hope. I love him. I love D'Amico Ryans. He is amazing. He's a great coach. And I see nothing but good things to come with our Houston Texans. C.J. Stroud, wow, your mother did a fabulous job with you. They kept panning to her in the stands. She was praying for him. Man, that's a great woman as far as I'm concerned. She did a fabulous job raising him. He's a great guy. He's a good guy. Not only that, he's a great freaking quarterback, man. He is smart, and people love him. His, he, when you listen to him after the game, you just, I felt for him, man. You hate to see that, and he knew. He knew he did not play well, and it, it was tough. It was a tough loss. But the thing about CJ is he's going to be back. He's going to be back because he believes in himself, and he believes in this team, and so do I. So Texans fans, you should be fargin' happy. I know I am. I know I am about what's going on with our team. Um, also, I owe the Green Bay Packers an apology. I didn't think you had a chance to get the Cowboys. I thought the Cowboys were gonna kick your ass. Thank you. Thank you for beating those dummies. Thank you for, you pounded them. You pounded them into the ground and you exposed them for the posers that they are. It made me laugh that people thought that, that Dak Prescott could even be the MVP. I could be the MVP. If I played the Commanders and the Giants twice, I could be the MVP of the league. Stop the madness here. I'm not denying Dak Prescott is a good guy, but he is not a great quarterback. He's okay. The one thing I'll agree with um, Cam Newton, Cam Newton came out and he made a comment about these quarterbacks being game managers and he got a lot of shit for it. And You know what? Number one is Cam Newton has been a quarterback in this league. He was the MVP of the league. And I think he has a right to his opinion. And just like it is, it's his opinion. But I will agree with this. Dak Prescott does nothing exciting. He does nothing to, like, enhance. He is a game manager. I will agree with him on that. And Dak did Dak things. He was throwing interceptions. He sucked. He even commented on the fact that he sucked. He's not an MVP. My God, no. And I want to thank, I want to personally thank Jerry Jones for being back, Mike McCarthy. Thank you so much. Because the definition of insanity is doing the same things and expecting a different result. You're bringing back that dummy. The Cowboys will probably win 12 games. No doubt. They'll win 12 games next season. But they will choke in the playoffs like they do every single year. And I'm going to laugh along with Stephen A. Smith. And I'm going to say, ha, ha, ha. Because you are an accident waiting to happen. That's what the Dallas Cowboys are. Anyway, moving on. Moving on to the game tonight. That Green Bay game against San Francisco. Green Bay outplayed the 49ers for 58 minutes. Hats off to you, Packers, because you played one hell of a game. Defense brought it. You stopped Brock Purdy. You played a great game. And I, I don't know why Debo was out. I didn't realize that till I saw him on the sideline. I don't know why Debo Samuel, Samuel was out, but 
that was a big loss, obviously, for the 49ers. But in the end, in the last two minutes, Brock Purdy drove that drove, and the 49ers won that game. Jordan Love threw an ill-advised pass that sealed the deal with an interception. But, um, man, that was a great game from the, from the Packers. And um, I only have an admiration for you, not only because you beat the Cowboys, but you played a great game, and you barely made the playoffs. So I like your story. I like what you've done. I like the Packers. Hell, I named my son after Brett Favre, one of my favorite quarterbacks to ever play the game. So I always have liked the Packers. Anyway, tomorrow's games are going to be really exciting. We've got Buffalo against Kansas City. That's, to me, the game of the week. Um, the Lions are playing um, Tampa Bay. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I like Baker Mayfield's story. I like it. But there's nothing more than I like the Detroit Lions story. I wish them well. It's hard to root against Detroit. They're at home. And... As much as I like the comeback story of Baker Mayfield, I'm rooting for the Lions. It's really hard to root against the Detroit Lions and what's going on. I love it. I love what um, Jared Goff's doing. I love the coach. Whole story. Go Lions. As far as the uh, Buffalo-Kansas City game, that's anybody. I don't even know. I don't even know what to predict. Because you've got Josh Allen at home. And then you got one of the best quarterbacks in the game and Patrick Mahomes tomorrow. So it's going to be an interesting game. Anyway, my Texans are out, and it really sucks. And, yeah, the season's over, but that's okay because we've got a lot going on. We've got over $70 million in cap space. We've got free agency starting in March. We've got the draft in April. I cannot wait cannot wait till next season. To me, this is the worst months of the year because I hate cold weather and it's, it's cold. The, heat, the coldest days in Houston are January and February and there's football's over. I hate it. Anyway, my predictions for the Super Bowl, I really believe that it's going to be the Ravens and 49ers. Those are my picks. Um, I think they're the best two teams in football. It's going to be interesting. That's all I can say. It's going to be interesting. Anyone's game tomorrow. It's going to be good. But Texans fans, chin up, man. We've got nothing but good things. And all you haters out there, all you haters, bad-mouthing C.J. Stroud, the Ohio State quarterback, bad-mouthing anything about my Texans, screw you. Because we're going to be back next year, and we're going to be back with a vengeance. And we're going to kick your ass. We're going to have some primetime games so people can see us shine. And nothing, nothing but upwards movement from our Texans. I cannot wait, guys. I will see you guys next season. Have a good restful two months. Peace out, guys. By the way, I'd love your opinion. Give me your thoughts. Give me your thoughts on the season. Give me your thoughts on what we need as a team. Let me know your thoughts. Love you guys. Bye-bye.